What is up guys, it's MLG Jam here and today I have a little informational video for you guys today and it is on how to win more gunfights in Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, first off, I just want to say that we're playing Cranked on Strike Zone. Sorry. And um, yeah, so first off, I just want to say that I'm sorry for not uploading in like the Christmas period. I was, supposed to, I was just taking a little break, but I'm back now. And um, yeah, so I noticed that people are not really like winning a lot of gunfights uh, against people in this game as much as uh, Black Ops 2. I don't know if it's because like, if it's a new game or something like that, but I don't know. But I'm here to teach you guys how to win more gunfights in Call of Duty. Ghosts. And any Call of Duty, actually. But uh, yeah, so first tip is you want to pre-fire everything. Every single corner you go around, you want to pre-fire. Because if you get caught or if you get caught sprinting around a corner and an enemy sees you like that just happened, you're not going to have enough time to pull up your gun up. You're not going to have enough time to pull up your gun, sorry. And you're going to die. All right, that could be your KEM right there. That should, that could be gone. All right, never wanna never want to sprint around corners. You always wanna pre-aim like I'm doing right there, and um, yeah, you win. Uh, you you will win a lot more gunfights. Trust me. If you don't, then uh, you probably should kill me. All right. Uh, so next one is you want to always like you want to drop shot. All right, drop shotting in this game is vital because you you go down so fast. It's really important. Drop shotting wins like half your gunfights. Trust me. Go, tr drop shotting. Drop shotting is so vital as well as jump shotting. Jump shotting is um is something that's been around the Call of Duty for a while as well as drop shotting. Oh, and also sorry. Uh, drop shotting. What you can do to make your drop shotting better is um you can uh switch your button layout to tactical uh and. Y um, for PlayStation 3, uh, circle is, uh, is knife, and, uh, the, hold on, R3 is, um, is a drop shot, so that's pretty good, in my opinion, uh, to do that, I use that, I play tactical flip, which is much Xbox controls, so, um, yeah, I drop shot a really, like, I drop shot a lot in this game, it really helps, and, um, yeah, so the next one is, uh, jump shotting, I kind of went into this before I had to stop, because I had to explain the drop shotting, but anyway, uh, jump shotting, what you want to do, pretty much a jump shot is, you want to, like, strafe, um, strafe jump, uh, so, for everybody who are noobs, no offense, it doesn't, it does not matter if you're a noob or not, I'm a noob, we're all noobs, but, um, jump shotting is when you press X, or, yeah, X, or A, on Xbox, um, and to jump, and, like, while you shoot at the same time, it's really, it's pretty hard with a regular controller, but um, a scuff controller right there. Uh, I don't have one personally. I want one, but I can't. I, I don't have one right now. But um, a scuff you can uh you can jump without like taking your fingers off the analog sticks. It's really helpful. I'll link the scuff website in the description below for anybody who wants one or interested. They're actually pretty pricey. They're one fifty dollars. I'm pretty sure something like that. But um, yeah. Uh, so jump shot is really vital in this game, uh, as well as um, as uh, drop shotting. And, um, another thing that, that kind of costs money, what well, does cost money, what am I saying, kind of, are control freaks. Control freaks are really good, like, I cannot play, like, my, my, my Call of Duty or any game without them, like, now. Like, control freaks are so vital, it's pretty much like little extensions for your joysticks. And I have some, I have the classic ones. They're really good, I'm gonna do a review of them this week. Uh, as well as my, uh, an Astro review, Astro Gaming Headset review. Uh, that will come, I'll talk about the Astro Headset more in the uh, in another gameplay that I have uh, on uh, how to get better at Call of Duty Ghosts and um, yeah so um, control freaks they're pretty much extensions for your uh, controller I mean they're really vital uh, vital for me they're really good I recommend you guys pick pick some up they're like only fifteen dollars really cheap um, and um, yeah guys so sorry if I kind of rush this video um, uh, I just want to you know release those tips into your head as quickly as I can so hopefully they can stay there as long as I can as long as you keep on playing Call of Duty you will win a lot more gunfights with these tips let me just do like a little summary of why I just said you want to drop shot that's where you go prone in the ground you can you can shoot your gun you want to jump shot that's where you jump and shoot your gun at the same time you want to pre-aim every single corner that you go through that is really vital you want to you don't you do not want to sprint around corners that is really vital again and um, I think that's it so, oh yeah, uh, Control Freaks and Scuff Gaming Controllers. That is all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Expect more from me in the future. This is MLG Jam, and I will see you guys later.